Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at this new receiver from Beta FPV. This is the Beta FPV micro receiver. Now you probably noticed that it's laid out a little bit different from some of the other receivers that we've looked at on the channel for ELRS. And this one has PWM outputs. Now the reason I've got this in and having a look at it is because lots of you have been in touch asking about whether ELRS is something that you can use with fixed wing. And the answer until these receivers came out was that what you had to do was use something like an adapter, like this one from Matek, for example, that took the CRSF output from the receiver and then presented that as PWM signals that could go out onto servos or ESCs. Now, it is exciting to see these kind of receivers kicking up out because it does dramatically expand the places that we can use ELRS not just for those situations where we have a flight controller but anywhere where there's regular PWM controlled systems so radio controlled planes boats cars obviously for me I'm really interested in this for some of the smaller planes and wings that I fly that don't have flight controllers or stabilizers on now this as you can see features five PWM outputs and this one is designed for the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS system. Telemetry power on this is the lower value from the stuff that Beta FPV makes so this is the 70 milliwatts and the receiver protocol can either be PWM or you can get it to output C rsf if that's what you're interested in. Input voltage is going to be 5 to 9 volts DC uh, connected via the plus pad that's typically in a fixed wing going to be coming from a battery eliminated circuit on your ESC. The size is 19 by 32 by 6 millimeters and the weight is only about 4.2 grams with the antenna. Only a couple of things to note about this you will need ELRS version 2.0 on the radio side and only the first four channels don't forget are full resolution. However, with wide switch mode, it has almost the same resolution as the main four channels, but at a much lower refresh rate. So that means you could use those potentially for things like flaps or gear that would still work fine. I think one of the developers did a side by side comparison using a pan camera setup and the difference wasn't noticeable to the human eye. So I probably wouldn't recommend using anything apart from the first four channels for your primary flight controls, so your throttle, elevator, aileron and rudder, uh, but that still means that it's perfect for a simple plane and also for a wing as well, where you only have the two elevons and the throttle connected. It gives you another full channel as well for something else, now, I've seen similar things from other vendors coming out. I think they're all based around a similar design, but I thought it was interesting to share this with you for those of you that have been asking about this. Uh, it does look like ELRS with the push from the developers and also the manufacturers like Beta FPV are moving out of just the little thumbnail-sized ELRS receivers, which are perfect for flight controllers. I would love the project to also have something like a standard S-Bus output that would allow it to be used with lots of legacy systems that only understand S-Bus. I hope that Beta FPV continue to try and work more closely with the ELRS project. I'm continuing to hear feedback that Beta FPV are very much out there doing their own thing with the code. And that does mean that unfortunately one of the most active ELRS hardware manufacturers at the moment isn't as close to the project as they would probably like. So hopefully that will change in future because they have been bringing out lots of stuff, including things like the one watt version of the ELRS radio. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.